Okay, so you can uh, actually download the Legacy app. Uh, it comes out, it's water system. Go ahead and open that app. As you can see here, it's showing an aeration filter, which is connected through Bluetooth. That's the valve we actually have. And there's your dashboard. So basically it has the time, regeneration time, all of your uh, settings. Uh, there's also uh, an advanced setting where you can go in and actually look at the cycle times and uh, you know your flows and things like that. So anyway, for this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go and uh, we'll be regenerating. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and bring some water up to the tank. Um, basically, uh, you notice we still have the uh, inlet valve and the uh, outlet valve to the house closed. Our sample port is closed. We want to make sure our bypass valve is in bypass mode. Uh, arrows facing each other so basically when we bring the water in it'll just be coming up to this point at right now what when we open here so understand as well uh, on this back first back flush depending on your system size the back washes uh, you may take it may take two or three it may take six or seven um, or more um, in addition the initial back wash um, may take several minutes it may take longer than that so we want to make sure uh, if we exceed uh, the valve is programmed for 10 minutes, if we exceed that, um, the valve will go into the next air draw cycle and we did in the rest cycle, and we do not want to do that. We net we want to only for the first one we want to um, use the backwash cycle, cycle number two, and the rapid rinse cycle, cycle number five. Um, we'll skip both the three rest period and cycle four air replenish. So I'm going to go ahead and do this using the Bluetooth, bring this guy up. Okay, so we're in our dashboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Regen Now button. Hit OK. So our valve is now in the backwash cycle. We're gonna go ahead and bring our inlet pressure on. So now we have water pressure up to here. You want to leak check your fittings, make sure you don't have any leaks. We're going to slowly open the inlet valve on the bypass valve. What we're going to see is some aeration come out of the drain valve right here. What we want to do is do this very slowly. We don't want to blow the media back up into the valve head. So you want to just barely crack it until you start to see a flow and you'll start to see some you know, aeration and bubbles coming down your drain. So leave that for a few minutes until you start to see more of a consistent flow coming out the drain here. Once you start seeing kind of a regulated flow, what you want to do over a period of several minutes is just slowly keep opening this valve. And what you should notice is you should notice as, as you increase the inlet, you'll see more of a flow going out. Again, make sure your timer now is on 9, so you don't want this to go into the next cycle. So if that's the case, go ahead and unplug your unit and then you can continue this as needed. And again, this can take several minutes or uh, an hour. So you want to just keep slowly opening it and just you'll see your flow increase. You'll see uh, it'll be a dark, dark, we call them fines. They're real fine particles of dust. You'll start to see that slowly uh, go away and then it's just more of a black water and or a, uh, a gray water. And as you do your back washes and your rinses, you'll see that clear up over several times. Again, depending on the size of your tank and your, air your, your flow pressure going through your water pressure. So anyway, once you get that up and you're flushing through good, that's fantastic. Uh, did want to also mention if you had any other things in line with this, water softeners, anything downstream here in between these, uh, you may want to make sure those are all in bypass mode. You don't want to be flowing any water into the house right now. So if you did have a softener downstream of this or whatever, make sure all of those are in bypass modes because right now you're just blowing, you're cleaning that media up. Okay? So what you're going to do now is you're going to go through. Go 
go ahead and let your cycle time out. And again, we're going to go, we're going to skip. Looks like we lost our Bluetooth connection there. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to the next regen. We're going to skip three and four. And we're going to go right to five. Okay, now we're into five, which is the rapid rinse for six minutes. Now what you'll see is you'll see a flow coming down through here, and you'll just keep going down through here. And you'll just let that go ahead and run its course. Okay, after your first uh, regeneration, uh, backwash and rapid rinse, you're going to want to continue to do these until you see clear water. Um, so now uh, what we should do is go ahead and open the outlet and flow through this completely through the system and what we want to do now is go ahead and flow some water through this sample valve here and again you're going to flow water through it you're going to look and see fines and kind of just take a reading on where you're at you'll do this now in between the backwash cycle and the rapid rinse cycles until you see this water you know becoming clear again you don't want to go into the rest period or the air replenish cycles so you can go to your manual and it's an option to go ahead and change the time on programming on those to zero um, if uh, you choose to do that that way you can go ahead and go into the backwash cycle it'll skip both of those and go to the rapid rinse and you could go ahead and set it into a backwash cycle walk away for an hour come back um, again once you go through your backwash and, and rapid rinse go ahead and sample here again take kind of take a look see see the clarity of the water and you just want to keep repeating that uh, several times uh, until you see some clear water coming through here in, in your service position uh, again you still want to keep the house uh, isolated and if you had any other uh, appliances here uh, uh, water softeners additional filters, UV units, um, you know, uh, reverse osmosis, anything like that. You want to have those isolated until this you're seeing this clear water come through here. Okay, so we've got our Proox Air system all hooked up. Uh, backwashes are all complete. The system is programmed. Everything's ready to go. The last thing we want to do is install our 9 volt battery backup, just in case we have a power failure. So again, tab on the front and back of the unit, slightly press them apart. There's a nice little tray right here up front. Just go ahead and plug in a standard 9 volt battery. To punch him back in there. And your Pro-Ox air system is now complete.